Welcome back to Border Adventures. You join us on the last day of the season. It is half time in our final fixture against Con. We are winning 1 0. Hans Alexander Backpack has suddenly decided in recent games that he, well, maybe he is interested in playing for the club after all. We come back at half time in our final fixture because. This game has absolutely no bearing on our finishing position in the season. Our fate is already sealed. So before we start the second half, we're going to make a little change. Poor old backpack. He scored a goal but now picked up an injury. But we are going to get into the second half. So our fate is already sealed. We have a playoff spot. We can't lose it on the final game of the season. Neither are we anywhere near close to that second automatic promotion spot. So it will be the playoffs once more for us. But we are in slightly more jubilant mood than we were maybe five or six games ago when we couldn't buy a run of form. We've got some good fixtures under our belt in the last few games. We've got goal scorers that are getting back into some kind of semblance of form. We've even got Campari. Oh, tickles one against the cheeks of the keeper. We've even got some wide players who are now starting to perform a little bit better for us. We've tweaked the tactic once more. We've dispensed with the inside forwards. We're going some more conventional wingers instead. Maybe that's to uh, attributable to why the backpack's form has picked up. We're taking him at half, taking him off at half time, I should say, because hopefully it's just a slight knock because we're going to need him in the playoffs. And, well, hopefully we're going to be able to go a little bit further than we did last season. We might rest some more players in this second half just to make sure that everybody is fighting fit, ready for the first playoff game. Remember, the way the playoffs work in League 2 is that the team that finishes fifth play the team that finishes fourth. I could have done without that from Eddie Ottora. And then the victor of that tie goes on to play the team that finishes third. And then the victor of that tie goes on to play the team that finished 17th in League 1. So it's a long goal journey. We are going to be in that first tie. We're going to finish either 5th or 4th with a draw. I'm thinking it's going to be 5th. So we've got to do it the hard way. We're going to have to take the long road. Let's just have a little look at who we might be playing in those playoffs. So... Well, look, even with a win, we're not going to climb above New York. So it's going to be us versus New York battling it out to play Longs. And then the winners of that tie will play whoever has finished second bottom. Third bottom, I think it will be, actually, of League 1. So we're committed to taking Sporting Club Toulon at least through the playoffs. Hey, if we were to somehow, by some minor miracle or divine intervention sneak through the playoffs we'd stay longer would love to take a club the size of sporting to club too long into league on with their minuscule budget that would be a nice challenge but i think if we fall at the uh, the playoff hurdle again as aaron that thumps a header in to make it 2-1 I think we might be moving on to Pastures New. Let's just rotate the squad a little bit. Aranat's just scored. We're going to give him a rest. Let's get Peter Musa on as the right winger. Why not? It's the last game of the season. And let's give Utkus a rest as well. He's played pretty well today. So to stay with Toulon all the way through to these playoffs, we've actually now turned down a couple of really intriguing job opportunities. We were offered an interview at Royal Antwerp in Belgium's top flight. We attended the interview. Again, language was a problem. They wanted us to be able to speak Flemish, I would guess. But they still offered us the job. The only trouble being they wanted us to start straight away. And we were pretty keen to commit ourselves to Sporting Club Toulon all the way through to the end of the season. Didn't want to walk away towards the end of the season and think about what could have been so we turned that job down even though they were oh, they were offering a big transfer budget two hundred thousand pounds a week on wages five million for a transfer budget it was huge and then we were offered another job opportunity as well 
this time with a team who I will butcher the pronunciation of, but Eschburg in Denmark. Again, top division team. Campare goes close. No parties for him today. A top division team who had ambitions of qualifying for Europe. It was an attractive offer. And whilst they agreed to delay starting the job until the end of the season, they wanted us to confirm that we would join. Obviously, before that season was completed, and we didn't want to be in a position where we'd agreed a pre-contract to move and then accidentally got too long promoted through the playoffs and we couldn't take them into the top flight. Somebody else would get the fruits of all our labour, so we had to turn down Eschberg as well. So two really interesting job opportunities that we could have taken. And we've turned it down. Oh, who said you've gone and got yourself suspended? Oh, no lenient refereeing. Thank you very much. Yeah, we've turned down to very, very interesting and lucrative job opportunities. Massive pay rises, much bigger budgets in order to stay with Toulon and see if we can get them promoted into the top flight. So a closing day victory. That's rather jaunty. Thank you very much for that, boys. We'll give it the... Uh, well, it wasn't really special, but it was a good performance. Why can't you do that more regularly? Just keep them eager going into the playoffs. So we do climb above Niort, actually. I think Niort must have... Well, they lost in the second half. So we finish fourth. That gives us a home tie against Niort. To see whether we progress to play Longs. Let's get straight into that first playoff fixture. OK, let's get straight into this playoff game. The only change we've made from the last fixture is we've brought in Semayun for the injured Macom. We've also changed the formation slightly. We've dropped one of the forwards, Dan Diop, is now playing as the number 10 and doing quite nicely as well. This is the run of form we've been on since the uh, the last episode. So we've just beaten Khan. We had a big win against Chateau, defeat against Troyes. Another big win against La Havre. A couple of back-to-back -back victories against Lons, who were right up there near the top of the table, and Claremont as well. Very, very unlucky. 4-3 defeat to Gazalek Ajaxio. So, form is not looking too bad. We're going to go into this playoff with that with a little bit of confidence. I'm sure that will come back to bite us. But Campare is looking a bit better. Anna Pat Back is looking a little bit better. Diop's playing well. Splinter de Moy also comes back in for today's game after... Guess what? He was suspended for the last one. We're the favourites. We've been on a good run. I expect... I tell you what, I'm going to say. I expect nothing but a win from this match. Let's give each of the positions a little bit as well. Because we would like to go a little bit further than we did in the playoffs last time. So Neos are a little bit of a... A little bit of a cursed team for us. They've dished out some pretty convincing wins against us. They're dominating possession as well. Playing out from the back, you see. Here they come. Can we press them? Can we win the ball back? What a big game this is. If we lose today, this is our, probably our last fixture at Toulon. We've not signed a new contract. We're just letting it run down. Oh, backpacks in early. He's hit the target. Offside, though. Yeah, we're letting the contract run down. Maybe that's what's uh, led to all the job opportunities that have come our way. The lack of compensation that would have to be paid. We're in the middle of our Continental A coaching badge license as well. So the older tributes for coaching are increasing. We've got a couple of languages under our belt. We've got fluent French, fluent Polish to offer. Not sure the Polish is a big draw to many teams, but hey, shows that we are a linguist. But let's not rule out another season with Toulon. Top flight season with Toulon. Not if Husek has anything to say about it. Given the ball away. Okay, we are dominating the shots, but that possession stack. Oh, we like to keep the ball and play a bit of football, but goodness me. New York won't even let us borrow it for this game. They've now raced ahead with the shots on target. It's gone a little bit cagey as well. They've got a corner. Here they come. Who sex up and away? Can Backpack get us on the break? Come on, six foot five, stretch those legs. He's going, he's going. He's got them flooding up with him. They're all there with him. And Campare's having a party. He made a break. Look at that 30-second goal of the season. From their corner, we've gone coast to coast. The Backpack, 
Well, he's made some good decisions there, hasn't he? The boys flood into the box. He picks out the man you want on the end of things, Nathaniel Campare. 1-0. Oh, OK, God, this is bringing back memories of last year's playoff against Mets. God, we took that one all the way to extra time before they trampled on our dreams. And as we just coasted, oh, we thought we were coasting towards half-time, but no, we've got another highlight to get through first. Can we break on them again? 2-0 half-time lead would be sweeter than God's tears, but... Got to get the ball back first. Oh, they've got space on that wing. That's a tackle, that is. And here we go. Aranat. Husek. He's thumped one forward to absolutely nobody. What a waste of possession. And they come at us again. Need Monsecure to make a challenge. Of course he does. The boys are fired up for this, aren't they? Here's the Dutch master. So calm with the ball. Oh, Monsecure, no, you haven't. No, Monsecure. Oh, Dujue palms it over the bar. God, that was lax defending. Lax defending. Aranak clears. God, they're still putting us under the pressure, though. Don't dive in, Splinter. Oh, De Moy. Goodness me. Goodness me. This boy has been on the end of more suspensions than a Russian athlete this season. And he dives in. God, I thought he was going to give away a penalty. All right, we're at the halftime point. We're going to, if ever there was a time for the don't get complacent talk, this was it. How are performances from the boys? So Aaron Nats is not great. Zilavogu is just back in training. I don't think he's going to be match fit enough to play a part in the playoffs. So I think we're going to have to stick with Aranat. don't really have much else that can play over on the right. And goodness me, that's not ideal, is it? don't really have a lot that can play back there. I think what we're going to have to do is we're going to bring in Zalazar. Can he at least tackle? He can. He's a good tackler. He's got the kind of attributes you'd want from a fullback, maybe lacking a little bit of pace. Let's give him a bit of an easier time as well. Let's just put him on the old fullback. Not ideal in the in the quarterfinal of a playoff. Goodness me. And here they come at us again. Goodness me, we haven't had a highlight for a while, but we could break. Here he goes. Come on, backpack. You did it last time, kid. Come on. Oh, he's going all the way. Oh, he's fired one guard either side of the keeper, and that could have been a goal, but he's hit it straight at him. Coming at him again, though. This is encouraging. Campare. Aranat. Not shown much, but he's got through. He's won another corner. Okay. God, it's got the tension that only a playoff can provide. Here we go. We're in. Villa he could hit one here. He's decided to play a deep cross to the other centre. Mac, not sure why they're splitting across the wings. And unsurprisingly, where the centre backs are involved, it peters out into nothing. Villa. He's having a pretty poor game. I think we'll get Hedegaard on in case Villa makes a mistake. Okay. We didn't get him off before this little passage of play, so he's involved, but Backpack is striding forward again. He's looking pretty majestic today, is Utkus. Aranat, he's gone past his man. What's he got? Can he deliver? He can. Backpack puts it over the bar. We're going to drop it. We're going to drop it to balanced. We've got a corner. Fired it in. Hedegaard's gone down. Utkus is taking the penalty. Okay, if you're sure. I don't remember declaring him designated penalty taker. Let's see what he's got. Oh, goodness me. The Vidal got close to that, but it's... Well, it's perfectly placed, isn't it? And are we progressing to a semi-final? Could be. Could be. How close did the keeper get? Oh, I think he just got a nibble on it. Okay. Uh, team instructions. Team instructions. Let's lower the tempo and increase the time wasting. Still got a sub up our sleeve. God, don't like the regularity of these highlights. Playing it out, though. Backpack has been much better today. God, heavily involved. Here's Campare. What's he got? Plays it back. Monsecure has looked a little bit dodgy today. But here's the big man. 
God, he's right back on form. Monsecure looks to atone. Aaron Hat can't find it. Okay, quick. This is way too open, so we're going to go cautious. We're going to pull these guys back a little bit. We are going to, going to drop the high line, and we are going to stop the counter press. Take off the overlap as well. And come on, let's try and make this last 10, 12 minutes a little bit more uneventful. Come on. Doing well on the match stats. Look at the shots. Good second half from the boys. But the highlights continue. That's fine if it's going to be one for us. But don't like the fact that we're dwelling on the ball in the defence. Here's Aranat. Not produced much yet. Slings in a good ball. Oh, goalkeeper's done well. Goal is done well. Hannah Pack Backer is having one of his better days, though. Finally, he's decided to turn up. Last three or four games, he's, wow, he's, he's just ended that run of form. We gave him the uh, the little private chat saying that we uh, expected a bit more from him. And he has bucked his ideas right up. Okay, into injury time. I think, oh, not another highlight. I think we're nearly there. We're nearly over the line. Campare, I can't get on the end of it. There he is again, though. It's the backpack. Can he make one more good decision? He can't. He gets robbed. And it's through to Hedegaard. Here he is. Ice call on the ball. Belize is passing a tribute of eight. Never wastes a ball. He just puts in some woefully reckless challenges and gets suspended a lot. Of course he's there. Oh, he's disallowed it. That's just rude. This guy is having the game of his life today. Was he off? All right. Comfortably offside. Let's call that three yards. But still, God, he's looking dangerous. Another highlight. Come on, blow up, ref. This game is done. This game is done. Come on, not even Neort are interested. Stop coming at us, Neort. You're done. You're finished. Oh, no. It's silly Sankari. He's not so silly, is he? Oh, no. Oh, no. Not heartbreak. Not heartbreak, not with 90 seconds to go. Oh, silly. Oh, dear. Um, be more disciplined. Is that code for just blow the whistle? Oh, can we survive? Can we survive? Oh, goodness me, you don't need goals in the 95th minute from Silly Sankari. Silly defending, silly goal scorer, but let's give him the passion, let's give him the nice victory. And I think we're through to the next round, and I think we're going to be playing Racing Club Lons next. We are indeed. Well, you know what our next episode is going to be. Thanks for watching. Thanks for all of you that like and subscribe. Check out the description for other great YouTubers that you might just enjoy. And we're going to see you very soon, because we have got some border adventures to continue.